S. Narain, the CIO of ICICI Prudential Asset Management Company. In an exclusive conversation, S. Narain talks about the book, The Most Important Thing, Uncommon uh, Sense for uh, Thoughtful Investor by Howard Marks, the famous investor. Let's listen in. I read this book and as I said, I got an opportunity to meet him last month, one-on-one -on -one in New York. See, it basically argues that investing is common sense, but it is not that simple because there is nothing called certainty in investing. So in fact, everything he writes, he doesn't use financial jargon, but he talks about markets as a pendulum. It's a pendulum which at some point of time can be at the middle and at some point of time it can go to an extreme optimistic situation and on the other hand, it, the other side of the pendulum, it can go to extreme pessimistic situation. See, so argues the market as a pendulum and you have to recognize where you are in that pendulum. And he says, if you recognize where you are in that pendulum, you can take the right investing decisions. Okay. Where are we right now? On the net? I think we are in the middle. Okay. Because if you look, when you meet people, uh, there is skepticism. At the same time, you know, the markets are not as cheap as they were in 2008 or 13 or 2002. So clearly you are in the middle because the sentiment factor is, uh, is in the middle. The valuation factor may be slightly on the optimistic side. So, and the economic cycle is something which is going to improve significantly. So if I put all these three factors, valuation, sentiment and economic cycle, I think we are right at the middle. Yeah, because you know, in terms of valuations, uh, uh, we are probably now trading at levels we haven't traded maybe three or four times uh, before this, uh, uh, higher than this. Uh, otherwise, we are trading at his maybe historically high valuations. And earnings, while they have picked up, this quarter have disappointed. So, uh, do you get a sense that there could be some disappointment post the earnings season and there could be reversion to me? See, I think first you have to remember, go, look at financials, go back one year back. The NPLs, all of us knew there was a lot of NPLs in the infrastructure area. They've all come out. Due to that, earnings have got downgraded. Do you think that the earnings in the last one year, the markets have not given big returns, particularly in large cap? Why are people worried about earnings? Because of three reasons. One reason is because you have a situation where most of the oil and other related areas, actually the stocks have actually fallen, the prices have fallen. Due to that, earnings have actually fallen. And is it good for the country? It's very good for the country. Do we, do we need to bother that oil is at 45 or, and due to that earnings are lower in a set of companies? Certainly we shouldn't bother. The second is due to NPLs, a lot of bank earnings have come down. Uh, does it, is it better now and safer now than one year back? Certainly because the earnings, are, earnings degrowth has already happened. And the third is you have two bad monsoons. On the other hand, you have a phenomenal monsoon this year. So I think these three factors are actually showing up in this earnings and this worry about valuation. I don't worry, but having said that, are we dirt cheap valuation? Certainly not. And you can catch uh, excerpts of that exclusive conversation all through the day only.